Hi everybody, we are going to paint the blue parts of the, the figure uh, which are uh, painted with a lot of stains and rust, uh, weathering, etc. So my first step is after choosing the colors uh, that are those three, the light turquoise as a base color, the Prussian blue to add shadows and the ice yellow to add some lights. I'm going to mask everything using masking putty. Uh, you can use uh, any one that, that you use, Panzer Putty or whatever. What I use is um, Silly Puri, uh, which is pretty similar to the Panzer Putty. And I'm going to apply first uh, this dark blue, medium dark blue in almost all the medium tone areas and a light, uh, adding some uh, ice yellow to the, to the mix in the areas that they are still, as you see, painted in white. I have covered a bit uh, with my previous layer, but uh, they are still a bit more brighter than the others. So I take advantage of this and I apply in all those areas, as you see, this light yellow, uh, light uh, blue, sorry. After doing that, I'm using black ink and dark Prussia blue from Vallejo. To generate a dark blue, a quite dark blue as you see, but I'm going to apply it very diluted. I'm correcting a bit more the darkness of the color and as you see it's a very dark color, but because we are applying it in very diluted layers we can control better how it affects the uh, layers that we have applied before. Don't worry, you lose part of the previous color, uh, the medium tone, because we will recover it uh, in the next steps. As you see, my birds with their brush and are from below in most of the cases to generate the areas of shadow. And this area is darker because we are going to apply an OSL in the future. So as you see right now in the screen, uh, I have placed a base color from the OSL, so I needed this dark ambience in this part to generate the, the OSL better. But now we continue with the blue parts of the armor. Uh, I'm going to paint the planes of light uh, more in a more accurate way by brush. As you see, I'm mixing the uh, turquoise with ice yellow and all those parts of the uh, gauntlet are becoming more brighter, more luminous. At the end, what I perceive is that the color was darker than expected. So with medium tones and light tones, I'm recovering part of this luminosity by painting the planes of light or adding medium tones in areas of shadow or areas that are very dark to uh, gain a bit of light. Uh, you can also, as I'm doing right now, recover the medium tone in between those two areas that we have painted uh, with the highlights and the shadows. So we gain this medium tone in between those, those uh, transitions. And also with dark blue, I'm painting all the dark planes uh, of, the, of the different parts of the figure at the end. And I'm outlining some details, some parts. Notice how in some areas the planes are painted, the shadow planes are painted with very dark blue, but in others are painted with medium blue because uh, not all the dark planes are going to be equally dark as others. So what I need is, is to contrast uh, my planes. So in an area of maximum highlights, I can place a shadow plane with a medium tone, something that we have talked about many times in our processes. And after that, I'm outlining with dark blue and adding final highlights with uh, the turquoise plus uh, ice yellow to and to define all those mess of uh, different elements in the in the figure. You can see this is a light plane because it's exposed to the main view, so I'm painting it more luminous. This is a medium light plane. 
because it's face to the main view but is uh, slightly sided to rotate it to a side so I don't need so many light there and uh, after that we have more or less finished the blue part of the of the armor as I'm going to make it very uh, damage the paint very damage I use this Rhinos height uh, to place some scratches that I place it all the time uh, mainly in the edges of the of the gauntlet remember to that you have to make very tiny very small damage so it fits the scale of the figure and when the paint becomes dry in the brush you can wrap it to the surface and as I'm doing right now that and, and that will generate very tiny very random scratches in the surface when you finish applying it to all the parts some of them can be placed in the middle of the different parts but what I try to say is that almost all of them, the 90% will be in the edges, right? so after doing that I'm going to boost a bit more or define a bit more the figure by outlining, uh, applying the dark lining in all the elements once again making them more defined, look more defined as you see because my first stage of outlining was quite uh, light so I'm applying heavy dark lining right now very dark close to black uh, in the shadow areas and a bit more luminous but not too much in the light areas now with deep orange and smoke I'm going to make some stains of rust so I'm applying first the smoke uh, this is this color from Vallejo that is uh, like an oil So place it in the gaps in between uh, plates of the of the gauntlet or the backpack, etc. Areas that usually will accumulate or from in areas from where it will uh, fall, making those stains. You can apply them first and then with uh, the brush, just with water, ex uh, extend them making them look more realistic and after that with orange pure orange if you want in my case it's pure orange because it's a fantasy model and I think the pure orange looks better I'm adding some more orange stains of rust in all the areas or most of the areas that they have stained previously with the smoke color if you apply the color with a medium high dilution you can apply it several times to generate different tones of orange of the rust in the in the metallic parts after doing all the previous work the blue parts looks very defined but it still needs a, a level up of uh, definition by outlining with a, a light color all the edges so I take this very bright blue and I'm outlining all the edges of the figure but as you see, this is not a continuous uh, highlighting. I try to make uh, some random uh, touches with the brush in the edges to represent that the edges are damaged and are irregular. You can outline some of the scratches in the, in, in the middle of the different parts, but not all of them. And in the most luminous areas, the outlining uh, is going to be needed uh, close to white. As you see, it's not white, it's a very clear blue, but uh, if not, it's not going to be visible, so it's not going to add uh, any definition. So the key is to apply two different colors to line or even three different colors uh, depending on the area you are aligning light area, medium tone area or shadow area I hope you have enjoyed uh, this uh, short tutorial about how to make this blue armor with weathering and you can see it uh, finish in the whole figure that you will see as you know uh, in next steps
बाय बाय